highest performance trainer in the world. Uh, this helicopter can uh, uh, can perform different roles. We can also carry 36 troops uh, uh, by this helicopter. leading fighter trainer. It's a new generation leading fighter trainer. You can say a trainer for the 2030s. When uh, AMCA will be in service, LCA Mark II will be in service, perhaps Tech BF will also be in service. So all of those aircraft are single crew aircraft uh, which don't have a second pilot or an instructor to train them uh, in flight. Therefore, uh, they need a dedicated leading fighter trainer which is kind of comparable capability which is what HLF T-42 intends to be. So it's obviously a very capable aircraft uh, with a very high thrust to weight which caters to the training requirements of supersonic aircraft and uh, perhaps it's going to be the highest performance trainer in the world and uh, that's where we are at. Uh, this will go hand in hand with all the other developments. So uh, when our newer aircraft will be ready, the trainer for that should be ready as well. And uh, that's how it is planned to be. So, and sir, uh, also we can see uh, Lord Hanuman with his mace on the team. Uh, uh, this is, uh, 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 HAL uh, developed a fantastic aircraft uh, in the past century, which was the um, Marut. Uh, uh, this is perhaps the natural descendant of uh, HAL's uh, uh, design, uh, obviously LCA was a fantastic design done by ARTC along with ADA and now this is there. Uh, since this has some similarities in configuration with the Marut, so it is a kind of Pavan Putra which uh, found its way like so and uh, I think the designers love it as an inspiration, so do the pilots and uh, there we have it. HL has got into design and development of this helicopter to replace the MLH, the medium lift helicopter operated by Indian Air Force, Mi-17. These helicopters are of vintage design. So what we are intending to do is that we want to replace those helicopters with a state-of-the-art new helicopter, which is uh, going to be designed and developed by HAL. This is uh, going to be working from sea level to high altitude, like 6 kilometers. The service ceiling of this helicopter is about 7 kilometers. It can fly till 7 kilometers. Uh, it can take off and land from 5 km pressure altitude, which is going to be the first, uh, first time this uh, class of helicopter which can land and take off from 5 km pressure altitude. So, uh, uh, the, currently the capacity is about 24 troops in a normal configuration, but we can also carry 36 troops uh, uh, by this helicopter. Uh, this helicopter can uh, uh, can perform different roles like combat, search and rescue. It can also do HADR, the humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. It can also do air maintenance at high altitude. Which and by when do we plan to uh, have it in the services? What stage is it at the moment? Uh, right now, sir, we have frozen the design. Uh, it is called pre design stage. So we have uh, negotiated the requirement with the Air Force and we are in consensus now. So we have got an understanding that how the helicopter is going to be performing. So those requirements have been frozen. Maybe after we get funding, this helicopter will be ready. The first prototype will be ready by four years. After that, we'll go for the limited series production. So six to eight years, we should be able to... In, yeah, six to eight years, it should be ready for the induction uh, to the Indian Air Force and the Army. We also have a naval version of it. It is called deck based multi drone helicopter that we are going to design for Navy. The discussions are in early stage. We are still negotiating on the operational requirement of the naval uh, in the Indian Navy.